Hey everyone, and welcome back to the little workshop here. I uh, got a lot clamped up in the vise for you today. This is one of the ones that I just got from Fast Charlie. And this one is from K1 Locks. It's called, uh, I still can't tell what that second word is, but retrace something. But anywho, the key does work. It sticks a little bit going uh, clockwise, but it works really good counterclockwise. But there's our bidding. It's a pretty nasty bidding and it is a quick set. So uh, I imagine that that's a trap right there, number two. And then uh, I only see cuts for four pins on this key, but I bet number five is riding somewhere here on the tip. That's just my guess there. But let's see if we can't uh, get this one open. I'm going to go with a top of the keyway tensioner. And I want to see if I can't get this lock open with... Yeah, this pick here. One of my uh, home brews. It's been probably my favorite uh, steep hook that I've uh, used. Okay, there's a little click. That was off of four, and I just touched five, and it went into a deep false set. Okay, I got counter rotation on one. Okay. Okay, I don't want to do anything to two, because I think it's a trap. Pin three, give me a little counter rotation. Okay, I think pin one dropped back down. Yeah, it did. Let's try to pick pin one. Ah, pin one opened us up. All right, so let's look and see what K1 stuck in this. I'm going to use this awesome pinning tray that uh, West Coast Picks made for me. screwdriver and just pry this little clip off here okay that one came off fairly easy and it's been that 180 though so hopefully okay good there's not a t-pin hanging that one up but uh, I am going to shim this because sometimes these quick sets are a little bit funky to gut Okay, let's turn this around to where the key pins are up, and there we go. Yeah, definitely a big, big old trap there, number two. All right, uh, it's a serrated and a very long tapered. A serrated. A serrated and last but not least is a standard but here's what we have in the plug here there is threads and uh, enlargement slash counter milling in one um, threads in two threads and counter milling in three threads and four and threads and a little bit of counter milling in five so lots of work done to that plug. So good work, K1. Next thing I want to check, though, is I want to see these top pins. I've got a standard. Or not a standard, but a factory spool. And that spring doesn't want to come out. Okay, that was just barely above the shear line, or break, barely breaking the shear line. And I've got a, a mushroom. Then a standard. And, okay, he's springy, so he's just barely breaking the shear line there. So let me try to get some of these springs out. Uh, 
let's use this little pick here to do that. That's a spring from four. Three. Can't grip two. And that spring in one is definitely stuck. And there's a little bitty spring there in two. Like a little half spring. Let's just go ahead and dump this one out. There's a wafer there. And that's that pin is a little bit stuck in there. But it's not stuck bad. See, it just came right on out. But uh, that is a mushroom. But it did have this wafer sitting here. So I imagine... Let's put that last key pin in there and take a look. I'm just curious, but I'm thinking maybe this key pin... may have been a little bit short and that wafer filled in the gap let's take a look no doesn't seem like it okay doesn't really seem like that wafer did much of anything there so it didn't it wasn't necessary for the key to work huh i don't know okay one well, tell me about that one i know this is probably i think this is one of your older locks but uh Let's see. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at the uh, key pins because these are all hand done. Okay, I've got a serrated here. And these serrations, there are several serrations up here, and they're very, very fine serrations. Extremely fine serrations. Then I've got a tapered. Then I've got a double serrated with some. Uh, normal width serrations then I've got another serrated here and I've got a standard and a uh, wafer up top we've got a factory standard spool a standard a factory mushroom a standard and a another that is a mushroom it's just a little bit different shaped one so Pretty cool pins all in all, and uh, lots of mods done to this. Uh, if y'all can see in there, if this thing's going to focus for me. Come on, focus. You can see threads in uh, every single one of those chambers back there. But that's what we have in this lock that uh, K1 made. And uh, Fast Charlie, thank you very, very much for sending this to me. I highly appreciate it, man. Everyone else, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you see one of these out there in the wild and you don't have a key for it, don't stick a pick in it.